Hey y'all, my name is Mare. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're kicking off a, another reading vlog. So if you haven't caught up on my previous weeks, I will link a playlist in the description and in the cards for you to go check out if you like the vibes of these. I like the vibes of these. And so let's just launch right into it. I don't know how much reading I'm actually going to get done. So this might be like a weekly and a half vlog, but I have finals this week and I'm saying goodbye to some of my friends who I haven't been able to see because of the pandemic. And I have just been having a very busy schedule and I'm also procrastinating because I don't do well with things ending so I'm just putting off things as long as possible but um I can't be doing that because I'm supposed to be moving out in two weeks and going back home so the scenery around us is going to change there's going to be a lot of changes in the next few weeks but what will not be changing is the fact that I We'll be reading books. So the first thing that I'm hoping to read this week is The Double Thief by Lisa Maxwell. And I have already started this. I am on page 136. I am listening to the audiobook and reading it physically, just whatever I have time for at the moment. And I am obviously enjoying this. I've read this before. This is a reread because the third book, the Serpent's Curse, I don't know if you can see that, actually came out very recently and I wanted to reread the first two books in the series before we launched into the third one, but these are chunky boys. They are very, very thick, very long, so it's just taking me a lot of time to get through them, but I'm enjoying just sitting in the world of the 1902 New York vibes. So if you don't know what the first book in the series is about, The Last Magician, it follows a girl named Esta who lives in the current day and she has been trained all her life to be a thief and so she is sent on this quest to go back in time because she has magical abilities where she can use her affinity to travel back with a gemstone and while she's back in 1902 New York she has to steal a book that will change the timeline for magic in the future and I'm not going to go into what the devil's thief is about obviously because it's a sequel but know that I will be reading this and telling you my spoiler free thoughts. The next thing that I'm going to be reading this week is hopefully going to be Ash princess and this is going to be a buddy read with my good friend Skylar from Skylar Reads. I believe from the summary it's about a girl named Theo who is a princess. Her mother the fire queen was killed and so she is taken as prisoner in her own kingdom and she tries to take back her power 10 years later. I have heard good things about this but I haven't heard a lot of things so I'm excited to try it out for myself. The last book that I'm going to be attempting to read this week is going to be Slay and this is actually for my Enneagram 5 reading vlog so I'm doing a reading vlog series where I read like each of the nine different Enneagram types to see which type I resonate the most with. So hopefully that video will be out before this one and you can go watch it in the cards or in the description if you would so like to, but I will be reading this. I probably won't be talking much about this, but I just want to let you know like that's included in my plans this week. It's a book. <clears throat> I'm going to be reading it. I also just don't think I'm going to get to read a lot this week because one, I have finals, but I'm also reading one of my friend's books, which is really, really cool, but I don't really want to talk about it because it's not published yet. So um, I don't want to get into that, but I am going to be reading that. I'm probably going to be watching some Killing Eve because I have been watching season three, very much enjoying it. And yeah, those are my plans for the week, crying over finals. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys today. I just, I'm feeling so good today because because I got some hopeful news. I don't have any confirmation of anything yet, but I've just been really worried about my future and what lies ahead of me, obviously, because of this pandemic, it's changed so much for everyone. And I just received some really good news today that I'm going to get emotional about if I talk about it. But I have been waiting for this news for a year and a half, ever since this pandemic started. And I am just really, really freaking happy today because not only have I gotten some good news about my future, hopefully, I am also getting my second dose of the vaccination today. And I'm just really excited to be fully vaccinated so I can see people and do things and have hot girl summer. I'm so excited because this pandemic has put a very heavy mental toll on me and just not being able to see people. The extrovert in me is dying and I just need to see my friends and hang out with them. And I feel like I've lost so much time already because I'm graduating. I'm not going to see a lot of these people again. They're moving away. They're starting their jobs. We're all starting different lives and going on different paths. And it's not that they're not going to be my friend, but it's definitely just going to be a different experience because I'm not going to be able to see them face to face as often. And I haven't been able to see them face to face this entire year. I am just feeling really good today. I'm sure I'm going to be feeling awful once I have the second dose of the vaccine in me, but I'm excited to get it. And yeah, I'm just going to be working on homework today. Hopefully I'll get some reading in later and we'll chat. 
in a little bit. Hi everyone, I'm having <laughs> a crisis, so why not vlog right now? The thing that I thought was happening or that could happen just got announced it was happening and it's that the Disney College program is returning and I know I sound like such a Disney adult. For those of you who don't know, I did the Disney College program in the spring of 2020 and it got canceled because of COVID and it was just so hard for me to leave because we had four days to leave and it was the best experience of my life. Like I was never happier than I was when I was there. They just announced that the college program was coming back and that they're inviting the participants who got sent home to come back first. I didn't know what the future had in hold for me. I just, I knew I didn't want to move on and I didn't want to apply for jobs. I'm just overjoyed today. I was listening to Slay and I'm sorry this isn't a reading update. I just, I don't know if I'll be able to focus on anything. I just, I wanted to share my joy with y'all and I wanted to share my happy tears because good things are coming. Hopefully we'll be out of this pandemic sooner than later. And I'm just so incredibly happy right now. I'm sorry that you're getting my ugly crying. I just like, I need to go eat lunch and I need to go get my COVID shot. So um, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna look really freaking weird because I'm gonna be sobbing the entire time. Tuesday. I just finished filming my April wrap up, which I cannot believe we are in May. Absolutely nuts. But I just talked for like 40 minutes straight because I apparently read a lot for this wrap up. So if you want to go watch that, that should already be up. You can watch it in the cards or in the description. But I just broke my tripod because I had this cute idea for a thumbnail picture. I was like, you know what? I'm going to lay down. I'm going to have like all the books around me. And then I'm going to be like, I read these books and then I broke my tripod because I went too far like down on the tripod and then it snapped off. So I hate that for me. I am gonna have to figure out what to do now because I already had a broken tripod. So I'm just gonna have to buy another tripod I think because I literally made the decision yesterday to pre-film a bunch of videos because I'm gonna be very busy in June, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, I got my second COVID vaccination yesterday and I'm feeling really good surprisingly because if you watched my first weekly vlog where I got my first dose, we know I was a train wreck. So I'm very surprised that I'm feeling okay. It's just my arm kind of hurts, but like that's normal. So it's like whatever. I am feeling good. So I'm going to probably edit my wrap up now and at least start. So I have it ready to be posted by Friday. And then I also have a bunch of homework that I need to do. So I really need to get on that. And I'm working tonight at five. So I don't know how much reading I'll be able to get done, but I did get halfway through Slay, but that's for my Enneagram 5 reading vlog. We're just having videoception here because I'm really trying to get all this content for you guys. And I'm in the mood to film. It's just like, like it's hard to balance reading like books for that video and then books for this video and make everything interesting. So, you know, just go watch that video if you're interested in my thoughts, but I did read half of Slay already. And I think tonight I'm planning on picking up Ash Princess because Skylar and I are buddy reading that and I'm very, very, very excited. So we'll chat later. Good night guys. Good night. Why did I say good night? It is three in the afternoon. Am I okay? Hi friends. I have an update for y'all and I have some book mail, which I'm very excited about. This actually holds probably my most anticipated release of 2021 that is by someone that I wouldn't say I'm ride or die for. The premise of this book intrigued me 
so much that I had to pre-order it and read it immediately. And I'm so excited to unbox this with y'all. First, let me just talk about the book that I did read because you know this is a reading vlog. But I did finish Slay. And just to give you a quick synopsis, this is about a girl named Kira who invents a video game called Slay that is exclusively for black people. And one day a teen that plays her game actually gets murdered. And so she is sort of dealing with the consequences of that, the internal consequences, and just what to do from there. I liked this. I'm not sure what I'm going to rate it so far, but Future Mayor knows all the answers. So if you want to hear my full thoughts on this, besides the fact that I would generally recommend this, go check out my Reading Like an Enneagram 5 video. Now, it's time to unbox a book. She's beautiful. Oh my God, she's stunning. Look at her. Wow, I am so stoked for this. The dust jacket is like bigger than the book, which is kind of annoying, but let's take a peek at her. <gasps> Whoa, there's a sword on the spine of the book. Can you see it? Stop looking at me, look at the book. Look at the book, please. I'm begging you, look at, okay. Well, it's not gonna focus on it, but there's this gorgeous sword on this side here and this really cool artwork on the very front cover. Wow. So, like I said, this is actually one of my most anticipated releases of 2021 that was actually only recently put on my radar. I was doing one of my Instagram posts that I do every month now where I talk about some anticipated releases for the following month and I focus specifically on YA fantasy and YA contemporary. And during this research, I came upon Blade of Secrets and the synopsis literally had me hooked. I was like, I need this book now, but I didn't have this book now because it hadn't come out yet. But I'm very excited about this. This is about a teenage blacksmith who has social anxiety. And one day she's approached by a warlord who asks her to create a sword that will kill its victims. And upon killing its victims will also reveal their secrets. And that synopsis just sounds amazing to me. I love the idea of just the I just love it. I love it so much. I can't wait to read it. And I'm definitely going to be trying to read this within the next few weeks because one, I'm hopefully going to be moving and I don't know how many books I'll be able to take, but two, because this just sounds like everything to me. I need to go read another book now, which I think will be Ash Princess, but I will chat to y'all probably tomorrow with more reading updates. Probably not very many because uh, it's final season, y'all. <laughs> Sink 
good morning it is currently thursday i'm sorry i didn't update y'all yesterday i tried to still record what i was doing but i have just been not really reading that much because of the nature of finals week so i wanted to wait until i had more to say about the books that i was actually you know reading so let me give y'all some updates i did actually start ash princess but um i've already dnf'd it so i got about 123 pages into this and i just decided you know what this isn't for me. So really quickly, just what Ash Princess is about. It follows a girl named Theo who is taken prisoner in her own kingdom after they kill her mother. Beyond that, I really can't tell you what this book is about. There's some weird gemstone Avatar The Last Airbender inspired magic system that I never fully understood because it really wasn't relevant to the plot. There's lots of confusing names and things that just don't make sense in this book. I think I could have pushed through and I think I could have ultimately given this like a two to three star but I'm looking for the best of the best okay I'm looking for some hidden gems you know that's ironic because you know there's gems in this book but unfortunately Ash Princess was just not it for me I did not like the world building the characters all seemed like they were taken directly from Throne of Glass and the selection I was actually buddy reading this with Skylar and we were naming the different characters in the book that were actually from other books so we were like okay this is the Aspen character this is the Maxon character the main character is Selena <laughs> because it definitely has the atmosphere of Throne of Glass but it seems like there's the girl and her guard and there's also the girl and the prince love triangle kind of going on and it was just a lot for me to handle. I couldn't get the world because I would repeatedly be rereading stuff and not understanding what was going on still. So yeah, this was just way too confusing and I just wanted a fun, easy YA fantasy. This was not it. The world just doesn't make sense and it doesn't have a lot of logic, which doesn't always bother me. But when I'm having to reread things multiple times and still not understanding them, it's a no for me. So we have Dean F. Dash Princess. <laughs> Yay, I guess, because we're not wasting our time reading the rest of that book. I also have made some progress on The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell. And just to recap, this is the second book in the Last Magician series. And I am on page, actually, I don't know what page I'm on because I'm listening to the audiobook. I'm 57% through the audiobook and I've been switching back and forth to listening and physically reading it because there's so many moments that I want to annotate in this book. So I'm preferring to physically read it, but the audiobook is also really, really good. And I'm enjoying listening to it, especially because I don't have a lot of time to physically read right now and I spent a lot of time reading Ash Princess when I probably shouldn't have but really really enjoying this as well and I'll give you all more thoughts on it when I have made more progress and lastly I have started Cool for the Summer. This is a arc that I'm reading for a separate arc reading vlog but so far it's really really fun. It's about a girl who basically has the guy that she's always pined for but she doesn't know if she wants to be with him because she can't stop thinking about the girl that she hung out with last summer and it's a little bit cringe but so far it's just a really fun time and I can't wait to share my thoughts on that in a future video with y'all but I'll give you guys little updates here and there because I am really enjoying this book and I want to talk about it with y'all. I have to go because my camera is going to die and I have lots of homework to do today but I'll try my best to talk to y'all later tonight. Hi friends, it's Saturday night and first of all I want to profusely apologize for how little reading has been done in this vlog so far. So to make up for it, this vlog is actually going to be a week and a half, maybe two weeks. It really just depends how much reading I get done in the next few days. Fortunately, I am almost done with my finals. I have two more things to submit and one of them is due Monday, one of them is due Wednesday, and I'm pretty much done with both of them. I am going to be spending a lot of tomorrow, Sunday, working on those and just getting them done so that I can read and pack because I have to move out of my room and get things done. But hopefully I'll have time to listen to my audiobook of The Devil's Thief. And I've actually been really wanting to read Cool for the Summer, which again is that arc that I'm reading. And I am really, really enjoying this. It's just so much fun. And a YA contemporary is just what I need right now to get my mind off of school and all the things that are stressing me out. So I don't really have much of a reading update. I just wanted to explain why I haven't been reading that much. I mean, it's finals week and it was probably just a bad idea to vlog this week anyways but I feel like I had so many exciting things that happened in this vlog that I still want to keep going and show y'all what's been happening but again I really just do apologize for the lack of reading but I'm gonna make it up to y'all I'm going to read now
I was gonna say good morning, but it's definitely like 2 p.m. right now. I woke up around 11.30 noon maybe, and I just grabbed lunch, been watching some YouTube, and now it's time to get my life together, give you guys a vlog update, and then get to work for school, and just like packing and cleaning up my dorm room since I'm moving in a week. But my update, I actually have one guys. I read a book, I finished a book and I'm so thrilled. So I actually finished Cool for the Summer last night and I was gonna do an arc reading vlog where I read three different arcs that are coming out in the summertime. I'm scrapping it. I am just so incredibly busy right now and that's not the vlog that I wanna do. I'd rather focus on reading books on my physical TBR and reading the arcs closer to the release date. I'm still gonna be reading those arcs. It just might be a little bit later than I anticipated. But anyways, that means that I'm gonna tell you what I think of Cool for the Summer right here right now high school musical 3 who cool for the summer was really really cute actually i've seen a lot of more negative reviews no one's like outright hating the book but it's gotten a lot of two to three star reviews which i can definitely understand why but i actually gave this book four stars i really really enjoyed this it's about a girl named larissa or lara who basically spent the summer with this girl named jasmine and now she's back in high school she's finally got together with the guy she's pined for for years but she can't stop thinking about jasmine in the summer that they spent together and jasmine actually comes to the school where she is at and yeah, things unfold from there. It was really, really cute. I thought that Jasmine and Chase were both really well done characters and I could see lovable qualities in each of them and why Lara would be interested in liking them. But one of them felt very insta-love and so I wasn't really rooting for that romance as much as I was rooting for the other one. I don't wanna spoil like which one it was just in case like you are interested in picking up this book, which I definitely recommend. I think that it was a really fun YA contemporary book and I would definitely recommend it for a quick summer read. I read it really, really fast. I didn't want to put it down. I just unfortunately had to because of finals week, but when I was in the story, I was in it. I was up on my phone at like 2, 3 a.m. reading the book because I was so invested. I will say the other thing I didn't love about this book is that it was just a little bit cheesy in a lot of moments. It wasn't a little bit cheesy. It was a lot of bit of cheesy, okay? But I just thought it was fun. So like I forgot gave it for that but there's lots of references to Demi Lovato and there's an avocado food fight which I thought was very wasteful and not cute like it was supposed to be. I thought it was cute but there was definitely a lot of cringe to it so I wouldn't pick up this book anticipating a very well crafted very serious contemporary book that's not what this is and sure the romance is very serious and I think that there's a really good progression between the two of them but it's just not it's not like a very super serious white contemporary book, but I had so much fun reading it. It was super entertaining and that's why I gave it four stars. Now I do have another update. I am currently reading The Devil's Thief still because you know that boy is 700 pages for no reason, but I'm just trying to see how far I am in the audiobook. I am now two thirds into The Devil's Thief. I am at 66% and I have cranked the audiobook up to three times speed. And I will say I'm not enjoying this as much as I was the first time. I think the first first time I read this book it was all new to me but now because I am rereading it and a lot of the scenes are super familiar I'm like well this just feels like a drag this feels like filler I don't think it's gonna be five stars upon a reread I initially gave it five stars when I read it last year for the first time but I'm thinking this one's gonna be more of a four star range which is still great I still highly recommend the last magician series but now I'm like okay can we get to the good stuff because I was really enjoying it in the beginning but the middle is dragging a lot and I'm not really sure where the plot's going and I've already read this book so I'm just like let's let's get a move on here let's get to the good stuff let's have the romance develop and it is sort of developing but it's very much a slow burn and I'm just exhausted because I read The Last Magician which is like a 500 page book The Devil's Thief is a 700 page book and the third book is also 700 plus pages so very very hefty books and I'm feeling like I'm never gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel but I'm still enjoying my time reading and it. it's just like so much book and I don't have a lot of time so it's very overwhelming to me to be reading huge tomes right now so that was on me I don't know why I decided to do that right now during finals week but you know we don't make smart decisions i think my plan is for the rest of this vlog i'm probably not going to update y'all day to day unless i have more thoughts on the devil's thief because that is the only other book that i'm really reading right now actively and i might actually pick up ash princess again i i know i dnf'd it but skylar who i was buddy reading it with she keeps telling me how much she loved it and i'm like you cannot convince me to pick up ash princess right now like i already dnf'd it it's already in the past i've moved on but she's like really invested so i'm like 
shoot, like I need to go pick it up and love this book too. So I have really intense FOMO over that. So my plan is to not really update y'all until I have actually finished a book or I have more thoughts because I don't want this vlog to drag and I don't want it to be not very interesting because the only thing I'm doing besides reading right now is working on my finals and that's not interesting to anyone. So sound good? Sounds good. See you in a second. <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? I think it's Tuesday. As you can tell, this week has just been very, very chaotic for me, but I have a lot to update you guys on that I'm so excited to share. So I apologize if this vlog was not about enough reading. It's just that this week has been crazy for me in terms of life experiences, and I am just ecstatic to share them. So first things first, I am officially done with college. I have finished all my assignments and I know that this week was pretty rough in terms of reading because I was working so hard on my final assignments, but they're done and I'm going to be reading hopefully more this week. So I'm just gonna end this vlog here and start a new one fresh where I can actually, you know, read more books. I also wanted to share that I did actually get accepted into the college program. I know I was like crying about it in the beginning and I was just so happy it was coming back and I didn't have any confirmation that I was gonna be able to go, but I am officially moving in June and I'm so, so excited. I'm I'm hoping to share all my experiences with y'all. I will give you information about that on my Instagram if you're interested. But when I start posting on my Disney YouTube channel, because I am planning to make one, and also on my Disney Instagram, I will let you know where to go follow it if you are interested in following me along. But I'm just so excited to be back now that it's a little bit safer. I've been fully vaccinated, so I'm feeling really good and optimistic about this. The people that I'm living with are going to be fully vaccinated. I'm so excited. So yeah, those are two major life updates. I am just waiting basically until I get my grades back and then I'm graduated which is nuts. I don't actually have like a graduation ceremony. I'm just having like a virtual one. They're having one for us in August, but I will be in Florida at that point. So I don't think I'm going to be able to attend, but whatever, I really don't care anymore. I am just so, so excited. I wanted to update y'all one last thing before I go about books, because that's why you're here. I actually did pick up Ash Princess again, and I'm like 260 pages into it maybe, and I am enjoying it more than I was at first, but it's still looking like a three-star book. So I'm hopefully going to finish that in my next weekly vlog or if not, I'll talk about it in my wrap up for the month. But yeah, I am pleasantly surprised that I'm enjoying it more because it was just kind of eh at first and the world building has definitely gotten better. I feel like I understand the world a lot more now that I'm further into the book, but it's become less and less about the world and more about the romance, which is why I'm invested in the first place. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Ash Princess so far. I'm sorry I didn't finish another book this week. I did finish School for the Summer. I did finish Slay. I talked about The Devil's Thief. I talked about Ash Princess and I talked about a lot of life updates. So I hope that this vlog was still interesting but thank you guys so much for watching i really really do appreciate it don't forget to like this video if you liked it it really supports me and my channel and also subscribe down below for more book related content i also have all my socials linked down below as well as ways that you can support my channel and until next time bye y'all